Hello friend, welcome back. In a previous video here, we successfully created one of the method as a storage portfolio method and here I pass that request and then the dollar request. Okay. So now first of all, I want to do, I want to add that validation. If you want to make that field as a, um, like as a required, how can add some of the validation I show you is very easy process. First of all, I want to do, if you want to add that validation, first of all, we have to get that our request. So that is a request and then in Laravel that is the default one of the function as a validate valley okay validate you can see there is a validate so now with this validate I want to do and to pass all that our value okay here like here I want to pass our field name our field name I have already added in our add portfolio page as a portfolio name okay name it as a portfolio name portfolio name I want to do and to make it as a required okay so then that will be as a required required so that means this field will be as a required great and also i want to do to take another one that is another one and also i want to take another one okay so now i simply take it like right now there is a portfolio name and another one as a portfolio title okay i want to make it as a portfolio title that will be as a required and also the images portfolio image i want to make it as a required if you want to add some of the custom message you can also display some of the custom message rather than that will be displayed some of the with our validate that's they have some of the default message will be displayed for the required like i show you how to add some of the custom message so then you have to do in here right now i don't want to add another one okay i want to add another one for like as a part the portfolio name and for the portfolio name here i name it as a required right so when that will be as a required i want to display some of the custom message whatever the message you want to display like i name it as a portfolio okay folio name is required okay required then that will be displayed that type of one of the message okay and also if you want to do the same things for our another field like here i want to, want to add another field as a title so that will be as a portfolio title that is our when that will be as a required i make it as a portfolio title is required okay title is required okay friend so here by this it will be a show all that your message okay that means all that your validation error message and now if you want to visible that error message we have to also update in our field that means in our input field area we have to update okay like as a for the portfolio name okay that is our name field here you have to do have to display it like i just put as a error so that is all the default one so i make it as an error error for our which field error for our portfolio name so that will be as a portfolio name and this portfolio name i want to do to display it so i want to make it as an and error so that will be an and error so that is a and error okay so into this and error area here better i want to add on this pen so that is this pen i want to add this pen and for the spin i want to put on the class name as a text danger okay text danger then here that will be display our message so i simply loaded that message as a dollar sign and then message so that message is the default one of the uh, function so with this we can actually display it now that will be display in here so now i want to update the same things for our title so okay for the title i want to display it i paste it so that will be our name field name as a portfolio title so our error message will be displayed that is our validation all that error message now that should be displayed in here okay friends so i will show you i will also check it like right now here i added some of the validation and after that the process will be just like our before like if you go to our um, controller into this controller i have already done this job i have up uploaded multiple images before right you can see that is one of the images functionality that will be just like that same okay that will be just like that same better there is our update slider okay from our home update slider i simply copy it if you want to add some of the condition you can use it right now it's totally fine i want to done to insert it so i simply copy that notification and everything okay i simply copy it i copy okay copy it and now if you go to our portfolio after that okay after that i paste it perfect now our process will be just like that same i have already discussed about every part with you now i hope it's not should be hard for you now there is our images requested file our file name if you go to right now we don't need this home slider if you go to our portfolio portfolio add our image name as a portfolio image now that should be as a portfolio image 
and that will be name generated hexadecimal unique id the images the gate client original extension will be fine images i have already loaded that image which is totally fine so now this make sizes sizes will be if you go to our theme like if you go to our home page into this home page for our um, you can see there is also on the dimension that will be as a 1020 okay that means 1200 and wide height will be as a 519 so i want to update it so that will be that will be our size our size will be as a 1020 and height will be as a 519 okay so now that will be updated as uh, that means it will be resize our images like that and then our save save will be in our upload i want to do and to upload one of the portfolio folder okay here i want to create another the portfolio folder first of all i want to create that folder in our upload go to our project into this project in our upload area all that are portfolio related images will be saved in our portfolio folder great now I want to do, I want to update also in our save URL will be the same in our upload portfolio folder here it will be uploaded and then I want to insert it right I want to insert if you want to insert it in our database that is our portfolio table so that is our portfolio model here we have to add and then we have to insert it right now that we don't need to update so then that will be insert right insert. So I simply loaded our insert method, Laravel default one of the method as insert by this it will be upload um, insert all the data. Okay, so our first of all that will be our database field name, that will be our requested field name. First of all I want to do, I want to go to our database, one by one I want to upload, that is the email portfolio name, that will be the portfolio name and our requested field name also as a um, portfolio name. I have already used it, the same name as you can see there is a portfolio name. I name it as a portfolio name and then our another field name as a portfolio title I copy it, then that will be as a portfolio title and requested field name or requested field name as a portfolio title I simply update that portfolio title and then another one as a portfolio description I copy it okay copy it, then that will be as a portfolio description and our requested field name or requested field name as a portfolio description I have already updated that portfolio description that will be the portfolio description and then our image image will be as a portfolio image i copy it so that will be as a portfolio image okay so that will be the portfolio image and portfolio image will be our that save url okay and also here if you want to use that as a carbon i have already discussed about that things with you so then that will be as a created at and that will be as a created okay i make it as a created at and created that will be as a carbon now date right i have already discussed about that things with you that is a carbon and then now so that will be the carbon now date and then our now date will be visible perfect so our carbon now when you use it also you have to do have to load that carbon uh, after this so that will be the use and use carbon backslash from to the carbon okay so now that will be loaded our carbon which is totally fine before i have already used it if you go to our about you can see there is a uh, carbon uh, better i use that illuminate support and the carbon so now that will be comes from the illuminate support and the carbon perfect so now our carbon is also should be work it should be inserted this data and when that will be inserted in our portfolio it will be show some of the message as a portfolio updated okay portfolio up uh, not that updated portfolio inserted 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 successfully okay and our type will be as a success type and it will be return redirect to the our all page i have already created our all page right for the all page i have already created one of the route you can see that is our all portfolio right before that i have no data now that should be on the data i copy it when everything will be done i want to pass it on the route okay route and our route will be as a all portfolio with the notification then that will be sent this data perfect so friend i hope every part is very much clear to you so now let's check this out everything work perfectly or not now click the save all now if you go i refresh it so now there is some error unexpected token this hash in our portfolio controller into this carbon you can see i have used that semicolon so now that should be obviously one of the comma right now i want to do i want to go there that is a carbon and now that will be one of the comma 
okay so you can see it's also giving you some of the instruction now click at the save all and now perfect now let's check this out click at the refresh hmm. you can see it's now successfully loaded okay so first of all i want to do i want to check our validation it's perfectly working or not i make all that field as a empty if you now click as the insert portfolio data yes you can see it's now successfully display our error message as a portfolio name is required but maybe our spelling is mistake or it's not getting our class name add page into this add page as a you can see i make it as a test tell was text danger right a text changer text danger i make it as a text danger perfect now if you click as a save all now if you go refresh it and now i want to make it as a empty first now click as a insert portfolio yes you can see it's now successfully display as a portfolio name is required so friend here is display on the custom message right here is display on the custom message because of all here i have already updated as a name that will be displayed as a portfolio name is required portfolio title is required right if you remove it also it's so by the our required it will be get one of the another error click as a save all i simply refresh it again and now i want to do want to insert okay i want to insert it now you can see that is the default message okay so that is the default message but here i have already uploaded some of the custom message when you use that custom message then that will be displayed as a portfolio title is required and our default message is displayed the portfolio title field is required right so now if you again want to check it now if you click as a save all now that should be sorry now i want to do want to click as a save all now that should be displayed as a portfolio title is required now if you refresh it now i want to do want to make it as a insert now you can see it's not display as a portfolio title is required that is our custom message is display successfully so now i want to do i want to insert that data mm, better from to this position i want to get some of the data like some of the um title that will be our name title right name title i want to do mm, i didn't actually i don't have to copy it so for education purpose i want to use some of the data if you go to that our portfolio details page uh, from here i want to do and to take some of the mm, category name okay that means the own name like i name it as a chip okay like that will be our chip data i make it as a name as a chip and that will be our title i name that one of the title and here i want to put some of the description okay i simply copy it so then that will be one of the description i want to add some of the description i choose one of the image like for education purpose i want to do and to use some of the my like course image okay like this one i select it and if everything okay it should be insert that data now click as insert portfolio now that should be redacted yes you can see portfolio inserted successfully now it's redacted to our all page before i have already loaded one of the data table and you can see our serial number portfolio name portfolio title and portfolio image is visible and then there is a action as edit and the delete okay perfect now i want to insert another one as a add portfolio and again i want to copy some of the data like that will be our name and then i want to use some of the business strategy that will be our portfolio title portfolio description i want to use some of the portfolio description but i want to use that again and this one okay i simply copy it and now that will be our portfolio description i choose another image I here i want to do and to choose another one like right now i choose this one select as a insert image yeah portfolio inserted successful now i want to insert another one so multiple data actually will be better i make it as a landing or strategy discussion okay i make it as a some of the discussion uh, like as a here i want to don't add new portfolio i name it as a discussion or rather than i make it as a laravel okay laravel i make it as a laravel laravel new project okay project i want to put some of the description again i copy it or description is the same description i copy it and i choose that image mm, i choose another one as this one insert that data okay so now that should be inserted and also last i want to add another one click as the add portfolio i make it as a react react 
and then portfolio title react react laravel new okay new course new course and then i want to put the same or rather than from the blog details i want to take some of the demo data i copy it i copy the demo data and now i want to insert it perfect choose one of the image now that should be new one i want to want to use like as a this one okay i click this one now click as a add successfully added now click as a insert portfolio data yeah you can see portfolio inserted successful so right now friend we are successfully able to insert all the data that means all that portfolio data in our next video i want to edit it i want to update it then i want to delete it and after that i want to visible it in our font in okay so how can do this work step by step i will show you everything with the live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video